So now a, a very big part of your life, I mean, we've kind of had this discussion about what was going on for you in, in Germany and the, the way that it was changing. But at, of course, at the same time, you had something else that was very big. And it's this YouTube channel that you started. When you started it, did you have any idea that it would uh, pick up so many followers? I mean, was I think I saw a video where you said that you were hoping to get to 1,000 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> when I left the US with this YouTube channel, I think I mentioned this in the video too. I had six subscribers. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> they were my parents and my best friends. Yeah. And I wasn't doing it to try to get famous or try to... Uh, gain such a large following. I was just doing it because I knew that in the future, I'd love to look back on the videos that I'm making. So it was and, more for you. Yeah, it was really personal. And also to try to encourage more people to apply to this exchange program and to experience this as well. Uh, but then I think it was my original German culture shock video that just blew up. I have no clue why. I have to thank YouTube for that. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened. Yeah, it just happened. It was their algorithm, I think. <laughs> what was that like? Did you did you wake up one morning and check the the views and go, whoa, th this must be a mistake? Yeah, it's just it reached a thousand views, and I thought, oh my gosh, a thousand this views! Amazing. This is crazy. <laughs> and then it just blew up. I don't know how. It, it, weeks passed, and all of a sudden, I saw more and more people watching my videos, and I loved seeing the comments. That's honestly my favorite part. Yeah. Because I was hearing from people who either did exchange years and were saying how they relate so much to what I was saying, or people who, the my favorite is when people would comment and say, I saw your videos and now I want to do an exchange year. Because it just felt good to know that these videos are helping people or yeah. encouraging them to do something. So what, what do you think it was about your channel that people related to or that, that made it grow so quickly? Um, I think that, so as I was in America, I watched a lot of videos about Americans in Germany and I watched this one YouTuber, her name is Alexis. I don't know her last name, but she has a ton of videos about Germany versus America. However, all of those YouTubers tend to be older. They tend to be expats who are in their twenties, thirties. There are a few people who are soldiers living in Germany and so they're 30s or 40s. But this niche of being a teenager who's not German, but living in Germany, it wasn't filled. <laughs> there was this hole. Yeah. And so... But I you didn't even that, know that there was that hole, I guess. No, not at all. You weren't even all. looking for a niche. You were just being yourself and putting it out there. <laughs> yeah, I was, just, I was just making these videos because I thought they were fun. And then I think that that's what made people kind of watch them because it was a new perspective that wasn't really on YouTube yet. And it's a very different perspective than most people because I was experiencing parts of German culture that most outsiders wouldn't experience because when do you move to Germany and you're 16 or 17? Yeah. And I, I think a big part of it, just, just uh, talking about it from a personal point of view, but as well, but as well when I watch y your YouTube videos, there's no, there's not much pretenses there. You're just, you, you can see and it comes across that you're being authentic and yourself. And I think that is also a lot of what people would latch onto and, and uh, relate to. Yeah. I try to be honest as possible and just, I write down, or I used to write down things in Germany whenever I would notice something strange or yeah. different, I would write that down and I would just keep these collections of lists. I have a lot of videos that abide by this whole like list of 10 different things that are different in school or mm. 10 different culture shocks. And people really like that format. 